Racing. Welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and we need to finish up the Dragon's Cove today, so let's see. Hey, tip top. Oh, we tipped up. It's been a while. Hey, Genie, make me a hovercraft, will ya? Hello, friends. Select with that. Select. Abracadabra. There we go. Got him. Here we go. <laughs> Got him of the 2D fan. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Tip Top is a bit better in the hovercraft than Pipsy. He's still pretty bad, though. Alright, let's go back to Windmill Plains. Windmill Plains. We're doing the silver coin challenges. Oh boy. These are hard. This is where the silver coin challenges really get, like, super difficult. <laughs> the silver coins are now just in, like, ridiculous locations. At least some of them. So, like, there's one there, but there's also, like, one down in there. I'm doing pretty well, though. Tip Tip's pretty good in an airplane. Ah, oh, rats. He's too far away for me to magnet him. Alright, get back here, Diddy Calm. Dane, Diddy is fast. Take that. All up in your face. I will. Go for gold. I remember Windmill Plains being one of the worst courses in the game, but it's actually quite fun. It's a very nice plane race. Oh no. Alright, going pretty well. Got a nice lead over Diddy. So I am in the clear! Alright, so that's Windmill Plains done, but... Also, as you can see, we can't even go to Haunted Woods again. Now we gotta go back to Greenwood Village. This is, might be the hardest silver coin challenge in the game. Greenwood Village! The coins are just in completely far away locations. So to start... I thought there was one in the well. Oh, this is bad. We only have one coin. The worst one, though, is there's one in this tunnel, which is a massive long cut. But at least I'm getting a ton of bananas, which means I will be able to take the lead in the next lap, most likely. I didn't hit anyone. Rats. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, is there a coin behind me? No, there's not. Oh, fun. Alright, so first lap, collect bananas. Oh, 
Pipsy. Now's not the time. You don't want to get too far behind on the first lap, though. Because if you do, you're just not going to catch up. Yes, got it. Did he call him? I was going to get that. Okay, Drumstick has got a sizable lead, which is not good. Luckily, we're closing that gap fairly nicely. Take that. Alright, we got this. We'll Tap a trick is really coming in handy. Go for it. Oh, I thought I would hit that boost. Oh well. That is tough. Imagine doing that if you didn't know how to do the super power slide. I've had to do that. Alright. Switch character. Who to be? Banjo, maybe? I'm Banjo! <laughs> sure, let's do Banjo. Hello, friends. Abracadabra! Bye bye for now. <laughs> bye bye for now. Time for Boulder Canyon. Dragon Forest. This silver coin challenge is also kind of annoying if memory serves. I think there are also a couple coins that are really far out of your way. Like, you might have to go beneath the drawbridge. Not sure, though. Nice, Banjo! Alright, yeah. I'm pretty sure you have to fall off the bridge in order to get two of the coins. <laughs> or not. Oh, never mind. All right. <laughs> All right, Conquer, you're not gonna beat me. I am faster. Banjo, what the heck was that? That is why the logs can be annoying. Oh boy. <laughs> You do have to jump in order to make the bell ring, though. No. No, stupid log! You are not going to cause me to lose the race. Woo, that was a close one! Oh, TT was right behind me. No surprise there. Alright.
right, time for Haunted Woods. Haunted Woods. I can't remember the last time I wasn't Pipsy on this course. I am, like, missing all the coins. Way to miss the bananas, Banjo. Gotta get those <laughs> those coins. I will go for it. Come on, Banjo. Uh oh. Well, I still passively won anyway, so we are all good. <laughs> It's boss time! Let's try it out! In my opinion, this is one of the toughest bosses in the game. If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. Yeah, the dragon pulls zero punches this time. He's basically like takes the hardest aspects of all the other bosses and puts them together. He also cheats by starting way sooner than he's supposed to. So yeah, he throws fireballs like crazy, which is kind of reminiscent of the octopus. Uh, you're in a weird vehicle like for the walrus. And he's just really fast like tricky. Also, his fireballs have deceptively large hitboxes, which is not fun. Do not be Pipsy in this uh, race. And each lap, there's more fireballs than the previous one. Oh no, that is the worst when it knocks you backward. Okay, not recovering from that. Oh, come on! Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna be Banjo. Actually, you know what? We'll leave the boss for the next video. In the meantime, I'm gonna unlock the, uh... The key for this world, which is in an extremely well hidden location. So I thought for certain it would be on Windmill Plains or Greenwood Village. It's not. It's in Boulder Canyon, believe it or not. And man, is it in a good spot. <laughs> Also, Boulder Canyon, I believe, is the only course in the game where you, like, absolutely must be in a hovercraft. I think every other state... Actually, no. What am I saying? Whale Bay and Pirate Lagoon are both the same way. Alright. <laughs> so, if you're wondering where, uh, the key is... You gotta go backwards. Stop it. I should probably not have been Pipsy, admittedly. Oh, you don't have to jump in order to hit it. It is... the key is seriously up there! No! 
That's an amazing spot, though. Come on. Darn it, Pipsy! I should not have been Pipsy. She is just awful in a hovercraft. No, no, no. Wrong way. Come on. Come on, Pipsy. <laughs> there are bananas up here, just in case you want to go up the drawbridge just to get a couple extra bananas. I love that hiding spot, though. That is just, like, pure genius. Makes you wonder if they put in the whole drawbridge freeing in the first place just to hide the key. Alright. Well, we're going to play the bonus game for this episode. Or for the world, rather. It's an interesting one. Smoky Castle. Smoky Castle. The first player to get ten bananas into their treasure chest will win. And you can only carry a certain amount of bananas at a time. I think you can only carry three, I want to say. Nope, two. Two for me. Move it, Diddy Kong. Who did that? It's all about knowing where the bananas are. Alright, you know what, Banjo? What was Conker doing driving around my part of the castle? Just a couple more bananas to go. Okay, really? Did he lost his bananas then instantly got them again? Like they got sucked into him. Give me those. Hey, what the heck? They're, the computer boy's bananas just instantly get sucked back into them. There's no way to steal the bananas from them. Beat it, Diddy Calm. I'm winning this TT amulet piece. Good job, Bip Pipsy. And that's why I was Pipsy. Pipsy's quite skilled with that horse. You won first prize. Hooray! First prize. Fantastic! The amulet is complete. Use this to enter the TT door. Well done. The TT door we'll see later in the game. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. If you tune in next time, we're going to be finishing up the game most likely. Have a great day, and God bless.